very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking when you are having a product and people are actually buying your product of course you have the full right to be very happy and proud about the results and the effects of your product especially when you are receiving reviews from the members telling you how happy they are with your service that's exactly how I feel today with our uh, premium group signals results. We were able to double our results from the last week. In the last week, we had about 300 pips of profit. This week, we had 650 pips of profit delivered to our members. And I'm really happy to see these full of green signals uh, results. Not only that, but we are seeing the losses are very minimized to the maximum. We can see that we are having only 18, 22, 30 pips. Uh, these are the losses. They are very reduced. That's why we are now sending the signals to the people and the members telling them that the signal has hit and take profit one and two. That is helping them to control the trade we are leaving it up to them if they want to continue the trade or not and actually they are pleased and happy with this service not only that we can see that from the reviews we are receiving from the members this guy here he said in two weeks he had 20 percent growth thanks to the guidance and he's showing us the results of the trades and also this guy here he's saying love your signals you are amazing at what you do and this guy here that is really great He's sending us a screenshot of all these green colors, sorry, blue colors of the good signals we have sent him. They are all in profit except for one only. This one here also, he's saying that he has hit his target of 30 pounds. Uh, I don't know in which period. However, I think in the daily. Anyway, that was really a good feedback from the members. This is a screenshot being taken from the premium group signals. It's showing to you what we are sending to the members. We are sending them that the pound AUD has hit and take profit two with 60 pips of profit. The other signal used the Canadian hit the take profit one with 20 pips of profit. Pound JPY hit and take profit two with 70 pips of profit. And by the way, that is all in one single day. That's amazing. That's really amazing. This guy, he has uh, joined the group February 21st and the account was $823 only. And today, 27th, it is 1115 we are not making up these results these results are talking to themselves uh, they are talking uh, of themselves these are the reviews from the members this is what the people thinking this is what those who have joined our service thinking about the product they like it they are happy with the results and for that i'm really happy and i'm really so proud so I have the full right, really, me and Angela, to be proud of our product. Uh, the Premium Signals Group is doing really very well, and I hope it will be like that always. Uh, just keep in mind that we are doing our best to deliver the signals to you. It's not guaranteed to be in profit. We are doing our best to send you the best signals. Uh, if there was some news that can change actually the signals direction or changing the results, that's not in our hand. There will be sometimes there will be some news that actually might change the signals and you have to always pay attention to that. So. If you wish to join the Extreme Premium Group, please don't hesitate to contact Angela. You can find her contact details in Telegram in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully we will see you guys there. So now going to the weekly analysis, let's start as usual with the EURUSD, which has made a really huge jump uh, in the last week. I mean, there was a reason for this jump actually. And by the way, it has affected the US dollar so badly. We can see the USDGBY also dropped really so, so much after the statement. Uh, let me show you which statement I'm talking about here. Uh, Mr. Trump, he had made a statement. Uh, he's saying that he have plans to quarantine on larger scale if needed for uh, preventing the spread of the coronavirus. He's planning to actually uh, prevent the travel from Italy and North Korea and China if needed. That's why the US dollar has dropped, uh, sorry, the dollar has dropped uh, so badly like that. Uh, in the results, the Euro USD has raised, the USD GPY dropped so much. So, uh, this rise here was a reaction to the statement of Mr. Trump. Therefore, I really don't think the market is going to continue the bullish momentum after this a huge candle since it was just a breaking news from the statement of Mr. Trump. Uh, Trump, sorry. <clears throat> now, what's next? Uh, let's go to the weekly candles. So, on the weekly candles, the first thing we can notice right here 
is or if we look at the left we can see that the price right now is ranging on uh, a resistance level so the price right now is ranging on this resistance level and here and here and of course right here so we are now facing a strong resistance level uh, has been followed by this bearish breakout candle therefore I'm expecting from the next week uh, that the market is gonna go fall down all the way to, re to retest this broken support level then after that we're gonna wait to see any price action indicating a continuation to break out from the support or if it's gonna reverse to go more up uh, breaking out from the resistance all that can be decided later we cannot decide right now what I'm what I'm really sure about that uh, for the meantime is that the euro USD is gonna fall down to retest this break uh, this broken support so going back to the daily candles we can see that we are having here the, this good level to start shorting the euro USD which the candle has already reached actually it has almost yeah almost reached this level already I'm just looking by the way at this resistance right here and right here we can see that the candle has almost reached this level anyway I, d I really doubt that the market is gonna continue falling right away I think it's gonna make one last attempt actually it, does, it has already made it we can see that we had here the first attempt and then here another candle made the other attempt um, still I don't really think it's safe to start shorting the euro USD right away let me just take a look at the left just to be sure um, yes exactly look at that perfect so we're having here a strong a very strong resistance level even right here and it was a strong support here meaning better if we are just gonna wait for the euro USD to reach this resistance level before it's gonna be really valid for the short and let me just uh, mention that this is going to be our sell uh, level where we can start shorting the euro USD on the level 1.10591 uh, that's where we can start shorting the euro USD and we can keep the trade running all the way to the profit level until 1.09064 as I mentioned we can look for almost 150 pips of profit after that don't rush to see what, don't rush to keep your trade running just close it hopefully with a profit let's wait and see what will gonna happen most likely the pair is actually gonna reverse from this point and then it's gonna jump here making a pullback retesting this broken support and then gonna continue falling more down that's in my opinion what's gonna happen for the euro USD because as I mentioned this bullish uh, growth here was only because of the reaction of the statement of mr. Trump so now let's see the pound USD the pound USD as well um, has been affected by the statement we can see that the pound USD uh, made the fall here and yeah one second yeah I was just looking to find the news that led for the pound to fall uh, I don't think it was because of the one I just said about uh, the statement of mr. Trump sorry uh, I believe that the pound USD has actually reversed in the end to this resistance level and make this strong bearish reversal and it didn't go up as I expected that's normal it happens sometimes now what's next for the pound DST in my opinion the pound DST is gonna actually continue the fall after making the retest of the support level as we can see we are having here a bearish reversal a bearish breakout from the support level and by the way this price action here this candle it's indicating a continuation in the in the uh, trend therefore I believe that the pound USD is actually gonna make one last attempt to retest this broken support level let me just be sure about which level we can start shorting the pound USD again and I uh, looking at the left let me just uh, show you something uh, we are seeing here that we having a break in support right but looking at the left I really don't see any good resistance to rely on there is no good resistance here telling me that I can start shorting the pound USD right here therefore I might need to adjust my uh, level to the resistance level like that right now this line here the resistance line is touching all the resistance attempts happened and that is actually more convenient where I can start shorting 
the pound USD we can see that we had here a broken support and right here we are having this strong resistance attempts and here as well so this is actually a much better level to start shorting the pound USD look at that so instead of sending the signal to be on this previous support I'm gonna send it to be on this previous support right here that's one of the ways that helps you to actually select the best entry levels so we're gonna wait for the pound USD to actually reverse from this support right here I think it's gonna reverse and it's gonna go a little bit more up hit this previous resistance level right here which was a previous support as well and then it's gonna continue the fall and uh, we can look we, we can wait for the pound USD to reverse for almost 93 pips before it's gonna be valid for the sell therefore this week the signal for the pound USD is gonna be to the short on the level 1.29070 and let me just select where we can expect from the pound USD to keep to keep falling I'm gonna select this here the nearest support level to this entry here this is a support level which was also a previous resistance so if we started shorting the pound USD here we can look for almost 300 pips of profit hopefully we're gonna get them all from selling the pound USD so this is our take profit level 1.25971 hopefully it's gonna be good signal and it's gonna be profitable let's now go to the AUD USD which uh, the last signal was actually valid I mentioned on the midweek analysis that we can start shorting the AUD USD right away don't wait for it to hit this uh, uh, sell uh, level just start shorting it right away and those who have uh, followed my instructions they have made about 90 pips or sorry 82 pips of profit now that was good signal now let's see what we can expect uh, next from the power from the AUD USD let's go to the weekly candles and we can see that the candle has actually attempt made attempt to break out from the support level and what happened next is the candle made a small reversal and as I said this price action usually indicating a continuation in the trend therefore I'm expecting from the AUD USD to make a small reversal like a pullback and then it's gonna be valid again for the short let me just get rid of all these extra lines they are confusing me to be honest let me just uh, draw again yes this one the current level so the AUD USD has made a reversal right here not here no wait a minute let me just be sure where did the AUD USD made the reversal so we can tell which level is best to start shorting again so going back in the past we can see that the AUD USD has made the reversal right here and notice something that is exactly the right way I'm telling you to draw the support line in a way touching all of the wicks we can see that the, the, the AUD USD has made the reversal right on this level, level. <clears throat> now let's see where we can start shorting the AUD USD again remember these are the weekly candles look at that since this is the weekly candles actually every single candle is making its own support and resistance therefore this candle here for me is a resistance let's go now to the daily candles let's see this candle uh, in close up view where is it wait a minute uh, let's see it let's see it closer yeah this is the candle right here we can see it as I said it's creating its own uh, oh sorry it's uh, representing its own resistance and therefore I'm gonna select this to be my entry level to start shorting the AUD USD again let's go to the current date we can see that exactly this is uh, the resistance attempt number one and we can expect from the market to make a pullback here hitting this previous resistance to create a resistance number two then it's gonna be good to start shorting the AUD USD again let me just select this level to be uh, safer like that so the candle actually might go for 16 pips against us that's normal and let me just send the signal to start shorting the AUD USD on the level six uh, 0 0.65871 
hopefully we are gonna get them all let's not be greedy I will select the same reversal point to be as our take profit level therefore our take profit level is gonna be on the level 0 0.6437 6, 6, 4, 3, 7, 6, correct. Hopefully, we will get them all and it's going to be a good signal and it's going to pay off. Let's go to the USD Canadian. The USD CAD actually um, has went exactly as expected. I mentioned that we can, I think I deleted the lines accidentally. Anyway, uh, I mentioned that we can start um, buying the USD CAD if I'm not mistaken. Right here. If I'm not mistaken, it was here. And I said that we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit um, maybe this resistance. I'm not sure to be honest with you. I think it's here, yeah. So I assume we were able to deliver 73 pips of profit with this signal. And we can see that the USD CAD has continued its bullish momentum and made a reversal here and now it's falling down. So it's important to understand the reason why the USD CAD has made a reversal here. Let's understand it together. Let me get rid of these lines. Now, let me just draw the line right on this resistance. And let's look at the left to understand the reason why did the USD CAD made this reversal. And very simple, we can see it right away. We can see that we had here a resistance level. This resistance has been followed by this bearish breakout candles. And the same resistance has kept its position as a resistance just exactly as what I'm teaching you on my channel therefore now what happened is uh, the USD CAD has made this uh, fall here and I, if I'm not mistaken it's gonna continue fall all the way until it had this previous uh, resistance which was also a previous support level from that point the USD CAD is gonna be good for the buy again and it's gonna rise all the way up until it hit this previous resistance right here so the signal this week for the USD CAD is gonna let me just be sure 160 pips of profit hopefully so uh, the signal this week for the USD CAD is gonna be for the buy on the level 1.33821 just wait for it to reach this level I think it's very close it's like yeah, 11 pips away and this resistance right here is gonna be our take profit level on 1.35463 hopefully we are gonna get them all and it's gonna be a good uh, uh, trade with the USD CAD let's check right now the USD GPY as I mentioned at the beginning of the video the USD GPY was really affected with the statement of Mr. Trump and has made this a huge falling breaking out from all these supports attempts on the left as I said this fall here was simply a reaction um, I'm expecting after seeing these two long weeks here that the market is going to make a small reversal uh, I don't think it's going to go for a long time remember we are on the four hour chart let me just see um, this one here no if I'm not mistaken this resistance right here let me just be sure let me just be sure we cannot just assume there is something I'm relying on which is I'm drawing Fibonacci in my mind to be honest with you uh, exactly you can see it right here I'm expecting from the market to actually go above this 50 level of Fibonacci and go all the way here to this resistance that's actually much better level to decide our entry to start shorting the AUD USD just like that one second I'm just trying to give you the best entry possible and yes yes that's more convenient let me just take a look at the left uh, a little bit yes okay okay yes now I'm more happy with this entry therefore what we will do next with the USD GPY uh, we can expect from the USD GPY since it's facing here a strong support zone as we can see right here the USD GPY was not able to break out immediately from this support zone so what we can expect from it to make a reversal all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here and here and here and here and of course right here so this resistance here is gonna be our best chance to start shorting 
the USDGPY again. I believe after this huge drop here that the USDGPY seems like it's gonna continue falling more down. It is the most pair affected with the news about the coronavirus. Therefore, uh, if you want, you can start buying the USDGPY for a short time until it hit this previous resistance because that is a hundred pips away. Uh, I think it's gonna be okay to start buying the USDGPY for the short time. If we, if we, let me just tell you something. If you see the candle fall down again on Monday opening, made one small attempt on the support level again, that's actually uh, is okay to start buying the USDGPY again because we are on the absolute bottom of the support level so if you see for example on monday opening here the candle reached this level you can start buying the USDGPY, keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous uh, resistance level and from that point it's gonna be good for the short so two signals this week for the USDGPY, which is the buy um on the level 107 sorry 107.755 and keep your trade running all the way until it hit you know something let me just adjust it a little bit like that just to be sure yes just to be sure so take profit um, and sell on the level 109.3030 i think this is a good signal hopefully uh, it's gonna happen Please don't buy the USDGPY if the candle did not reach this previous resistance, sorry, previous support, because if you start buying the USDGPY right away, you are risking to be in loss for 40, maybe 50 pips. That's why buying the USDGPY, is USDGPY right away is not really a good idea because there is a chance that the market might fall down for a long time before actually uh, it's gonna reach our entry level to start shorting. So please be careful when you are try, uh, uh, buying the USDGPY, just be sure you are selecting the right level. Let's check right now the USDCHF. The USDCHF has also been affected and we can see it made this a huge fall right here uh, let me just see what we can do next with the USDCHF um, similar to what happened to the USDGPY it made a strong bearish reversal it reached a strong support zone right here we can see on the left here right that, like that we're having a strong support zone and the pair was not able to close below this level let me just be, draw it the correct way like that that's better so this is the support zone we're talking about and what we can do next with the USDCHF is actually uh, as you know me those who are following me for a long time I really hate giving any signals when the pair is on the absolute uh, or sorry is inside a support or resistance zone because now it's gambling we cannot really be sure what's gonna happen with the pair if it's gonna reverse or uh, continue the uh, momentum to break out from the support uh, as I know from my experience this price action usually indicating a continuation in the trend therefore I really don't think it's smart to do anything with the UCCHF right now uh, the only thing I can tell you is is to wait for the USDCHF to actually fall down to the support level right here on Monday opening wait for it to actually reach this uh, support again making another attempt and from that point at the absolute lowest level of the support we can start buying the USDCHF again and don't keep your trade running for a long time let me just tell you we can keep it running all the way until it hit this previous resistance right here so it's like a safe signal hopefully it's gonna be safe and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one let me just start uh, uh, sending the signal buy on the level 0 0.96114 and keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance uh, take profit level on 0 0.96948 hopefully it's gonna be a good signal and we're gonna get some good profit out of this signal finally let's check the gold 
the, the gold on the midweek analysis video I have sent a signal to start buying the gold on the level 1624.80 we can see that the pair has reached this level and I have set my semi take profit level to be on the level 1658.47 so it was really fantastic and great signal for the gold those who have entered the signal have made 334 pips of profit wiping out all the previous losses made from the euro usd and the usd gpy signal so now what's next with the uh, with the gold and now we can see that the gold has made this uh, huge drop here of course i think it's uh, related to the news about the coronavirus and we, we can expect from the gold I think the gold is gonna continue the rise I really don't think it's gonna fall at all after this uh, reversal let me just get rid of all the other uh, text here let's just take a look at the left to see what is the good level to start buying the gold again so what we can see here is we are facing a strong support level right here and the pair has exactly look at that the candle has reached this previous support level and reversed right on it exactly perfect perfect that is the perfection look at that i have drawn my support li a line here right uh, looking at this one i didn't even look at the right side i just drew it right here looking at the support right here and the support here and it is perfectly matching uh, the current level where the candle has reversed therefore in my opinion the gold is gonna reverse and it's gonna continue rising more up however we have to wait the right moment to start buying the gold and if I'm not mistaken the gold is on, on Monday opening is gonna fall down again retesting this previous support level before it actually gonna continue the rise and let me just select this to be my entry level to start buying the gold and this is the previous support is gonna be my take profit level uh, even though I'm still really sure that the gold is actually gonna uh, break out from the support and gonna continue the rise so uh, the signal this week for the gold is to buy on the level 1565.39 and you can keep your trade running all the way until the pair hit the previous support level on 1624.50 five that is actually more convenient level to start uh, buying the gold let's see what will gonna happen next I really don't think the gold is gonna fall especially with the news about the coronavirus now spreading all over the globe so in the end I really hope this is gonna be a very profitable week for everyone I wish everyone the best of luck and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching